All right, let's read the Reddit thread about myself. LPL match fixing rumors. Hey everyone. There's some concerning behavior with I will dominate and the tweet thread made by Rich. Uh, match fixing is absolute, uh, so this is Rich's tweet. Match fixing is absolutely rampant in LOL Esports. LPL is regularly match fixed. Community is going to lose their minds when they see some of the Korean and Chinese player names that are likely going to come out sooner rather than later. V sooner rather than later. VCS, how about former world champions? This is like the most open secret in the scene right now. Western journalists are fully aware of the situation, but are seemingly terrified to touch it. Obviously, would require a lot of work and all the facts before you start naming names. But come on, someone do the story. It's important to hold public figure figures accountable, especially when their actions may negatively impact others and the integrity of the gaming community as a whole. It's also super suspicious that he simps for LPL all the time and takes money from gambling sites with all the recent rumors. Okay, here's the first thing to explain. When match fixing occurs, the people that are being exploited are the books. The gambling sites are the ones getting exploited by the books. The way match fixing works is one entity goes to a player and they make one side, they're like, hey, what's going to happen is you're going to int on purpose. I'm going to bet with the books that, that you're going to int, and then I'm going to make money from the int. Working with gambling sites doesn't mean that you would benefit in any way from match fixing. Like, I would be the other end of things. So that's number one. It, like, doesn't even... It doesn't even make, it doesn't even compute when it comes to how the situation works. The gambling sites are being exploited by the match fixers. That's the point. Okay, so that's where it starts. It's also super, super suspicious that he sims for LPL all the time and takes money from gambling sites with all these recent rumors. Firstly, we already know he has questionable character with the recent breakup with his girlfriend. While breakups are often private matters, there have been whispers and hints suggesting that I Will Dominate may have played a significant role in the deterioration of their relationship. What, like, who the fuck was talking about my relationship? It's like, my ex is not even a public person at all. She didn't talk to anyone about this. Like, this was like a, just an, a private matter where we ended on good terms, like where our relationship just wasn't working out anymore. It's so strange to just have this be like, he played a significant role. It's like, well, yeah, I mean, guess what, bro? When people break up, both people probably played a role in the relationship deteriorating, but like whispers and hints, like no one talks about like my relationship with my ex. That's such a fucking strange thing to say. Uh, we know that we know that how he treats people around the scene also and shits on pro players. Which makes me wonder if there might have been instances of manipulation and emotional abuse. I can't believe that's a real s like so because I tweet about DOS, then I must have emotionally abused my ex. Like what? Like, I mean, the thing is, like, if I if I was an emotional abuser and I've dated multiple people in the scene for years, right, or like people like that are in the Twitch community for years, like. Somebody would have said something, surely. We're not finding out from this guy on a Reddit thread. This is such a, st like, what a fucking ridiculous thread. What? You're gonna find out from you? Yeah. Oh no. I'm gonna leak it. You're gonna leak it? Am I an emotional abuser? Yeah. What? <laughs> she says I am, okay, nice. Moreover, there's a more sinister aspect to um, I Will Dominate's character that connects him to his involvement in the League of Legends scene. It's kind of strange that the recent match fixing rumors are in the LPL, and who sims for the LPL the most while taking money from gambling sponsors before? So how long has he and LS been profiting from match fixing? Bro, do you know how big the LPL, the LPL is like the biggest market? It is literally like the biggest league in the world. You know how insignificant I am compared to like the LPL? What the hell? There have been murmurs from reliable sources within the esports community, including mentions by individuals like Rich, who hinted, dude, you think that the people that hate me in the scene would not just say like, hey, this guy is fucking like ruining the L like, what the fuck? What the hell? Yeah, I'm ruining the LPL, bro. I match fixed the entire LPL. Who hinted at match fixing uh, being an open secret in the scene? Uh, it's concerning that someone with a track record of questionable, beha uh, questionable behavior, the questionable behavior is that I had a girlfriend that I broke up with. That's the questionable that's the questionable behavior that he's talking about in this thread. He's like, "Let me first show you the character. This guy was in a relationship and then he ended that relationship." Like, is he a rape? It's like, what the fuck? Like, what? No reason rape. Like, like what the fuck? Like no one's heard from her since. Ever since they broke up, she's never been on her. Like, did he kill her? Like, what the fuck? It's like so insane. Like, how did we jump to this?
Like now that I have pro I I have proven that there is a track record of questionable behavior. Let me see. Like Abu Dhabi could be as large as he is and have the connections he has for his own benefit. It raises questions about his moral compass and integrity, not only as a streamer, but as a human being. It's troubling to see how I will dominate's actions may have broader implications, especially for impressionable fans and aspiring esports athletes. Bro, I'm not, I'm so important. Holy fuck. You're so lucky to be I'm so important. I'm like, okay. this is the beginning of the emotional abuse right here. Okay. You're gonna hit me? What? Why are you gonna hit me? Uh Jesus. Like I'm so like I run this whole fucking scene. I run the LPL, I run the betting rings, I'm like emotionally abusing. Like, you don't understand my importance. It's crazy. In conclusion, it's crucial to examine the evidence. <laughs> I can't take it serious. It's crucial to examine the evidence and hold individuals like I will dominate accountable for their actions. We must prioritize integrity and transparency in the league after all the scandals that happened in VCS and probably what is happening in LPL. How long? <laughs> I think you got to take it. How much money did they make from the gambling sponsors for match fixing? Oh, he doesn't even like God. Yeah, no, this is this is actually an insane thread. This is up there with like some of the most insane threads. This is up there with like, is I will dominate a psychopath is up there in like one of the most insane threads ever made about me. This is an all time great right here. But um, I think that this whole thing could be solved if he just realized that match fixing is the exploitation of betting sites. It's not something that the betting sites, it's not like the betting sites fix the result because they want it to go like a certain way. Like the way betting sites work, all right? Is that they would prefer me because I run the betting sites now. <laughs> the way betting sites work is that they would prefer to have action on both sides because they're gonna get a cut either way. Like they take a percentage of the pot either way and because you're essentially paying them a fee, you are able to bet on a bunch of different markets. So the best course of action for a betting site is somebody puts a million dollars on one side, they put a million dollars on the other side and they just take like 80K from both. That's what a betting site wants. Like a betting site doesn't want the result to be, like they don't care about the result. Like the whole reason that lines move is so they can be they can try to inf to to um influence equal action on both sides because they don't want to be over leveraged on one side side yeah, so he just yeah. he simply just doesn't understand how a betting site works like he thinks that betting sites are the ones that rig matches it's like the betting sites are the ones being exploited the people that rig matches are like whatever fucking organizations or people or players are trying to make money we're like the idea of it would be an organization like gets a player or a team to fix the result of a match and as a result like they bet a ton of money on it and they give the player and the organization a cut and they also get a cut check his post history i'm afraid bro wait can i yeah no 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 wait his name is wait i clicked on his thing and the first thing it says is you must be 18 plus to view this community I do I click it. continue? Yeah, do it. I want to see what's milk. God bless milky milkers. <laughs> oh no, it's just Okay. Hi from your neighborhood MILF. You're a wizard, Harry. Describe my bush in one word. <laughs> Describe you, my bush in one word. You should know. Well, that's a great way to end the stream.